Hi, welcome to Lana Zevillos, the English channel. My name is Alba and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this basic bonnet for a baby. The size that you will learn is for a newborn to like three months old and you can find the written pattern for this size and other sizes in my website. You can find the link on the description below. And if you are new in this channel, remember to subscribe and click on the bell to receive the notifications of my new videos. Let's go with a step by step. To make this bonnet, I used 35 grams of this cotton. You can see here the specifications. I used 3 millimeters knitting needles. I used circular needles, but you can use also straight needles. Maybe you will need some stitch markers, scissors and a tapestry needle. To make this size you have to cast on 54 stitches. Cast on 54 stitches. You can use the way to cast on that you prefer. This is the easiest way. And once you cast on all the stitches, you have to start with an elastic stitch to two. You can make the stitches like you want. You can you have to make two knit stitches and two purl stitches. To make the elastic stitch, you have to start with a knit two. and then purl two. And this is what you have to repeat to the end. Knit two. Pearl two. Knit two. Pearl two. Once you finish the first row, you have to repeat five more rows with the elastic stitch. Once 
where you find a pearl stitch when you find like a knot under the stitch this is a pearl stitch you have to pearl and where you find like a V under the under the needle you have to make a knit stitch so pearl 2 knit 2 pearl 2 knit 2 and this is what you have to repeat to the end pearl 2 and knit 2 to make the elastic stitch Remember that you have to make six rows with the elastic stitch. Once you have the six rows, you have to start making the garter stitch. To make the garter stitch, you have to work all the stitches with a knit stitch. Work the knit stitch in all the row. And once you finish, you have to turn and work again the knit stitch in all the row. You have to continue working 32 rows with the garter stitch. Remember working the knit stitch in all the stitches. In my case, I have 11 centimeters. And now I'm going to start the decreases. To make the decreases, you have to divide the number of stitches that you have on the needle 54 by 3. In my case, it's 18 stitches. You have to knit the first 18 stitches. Then you have to knit 17 stitches and you have to knit two together on the stitch number 18 of the second group and the stitch number one of the third group. Knit two together. Now, you don't have to continue working the stitches on the left needle, you have to turn. And leave the stitches on the right needle and continue working the, the 18 stitches of the middle. Now, slip the first stitch to have the yarn on the back and now make 
and now work 17 stitches counting the first stitch so you have to work 17 stitches and under stitch number 18 you have to knit two together with the stitch number one of the third group you have to make the same that you made on the on the other side so knit two together now Again, turn, you don't have to work the following stitches on the needle, turn. Slip the first stitch and continue working 17 stitches. When you have the 17 stitches, you have to knit two together the stitch number 18 with the following stitch on the left needle, the following stitch on the of the group of the left needle, knit two together, and now again turn. Slip the first stitch work the garter stitch to have 17 stitches and the stitch number 18 you have to knit this stitch together with the following stitch on the group of the side knit two together to make a decrease And this is what you have to repeat, it's, it's really simple. You only have to slip one stitch, knit 16 stitches and on the stitch number 18, knit two together the stitch number 18 with the following stitch of the group of the side. You have to continue making the same to finish the stitches on the side. Here you can see the shape of the bonnet. You can see here that you have less stitches on the sides, continue working the same. And when you have only one stitch, you have to repeat the same. Slip, work 17 stitches, work 16 stitches to have 17 stitches. And the stitch number 18, you have to knit two together with the last stitch on the left needle. And then turn slip one and knit the stitches and knit all 
all the stitches to the stitch number 18 that you have to knit two together with the last stitch of the side of the other side. Now you have 18 stitches on the needles and you have to bind off all the stitches. Remember how to bind off the stitches. You have to slip the first stitch, knit one, pass the first stitch over the second stitch. This is how you have to bind off the stitches. Repeat the same, knit one, pass the first stitch over the second stitch and this is how you have to bind off all the stitches on the needle. Once you finish, you have to cut the yarn. And now you have to pick up the stitches on the sides of the front part of the bonnet. You can use a crochet hook if you prefer or you can use the knitting needles. And you have to pick up stitches in between of the these these mountains uh, before and after of each mountain. You have to pick up one stitch. In my case I have 21 stitches, in this side you have to pick up the same number of stitches on the other side. Now you have to pick up the stitches also in the middle, also in the stitches of the middle and you have to pick up the stitches from this uh, stitch, from, from this V. Here you have to pick up the stitches here. and repeat the same on the other side, pick up 21 stitches. Once you have all the stitches on the needles, you have to start working again the elastic stitch 2-2. Two, two.
you have to knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. This is what you have to repeat to the end of the needles. Turn and remember how to make the elastic stitch. Knit where you find knit stitches, purl where you find purl stitches, so knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, to the end. You have to repeat the elastic stitch to have four rows. Once you finish the row number four of the elastic stitch of the front part of the bonnet, you have to bind off all the stitches. Once you finish, you can make a night cord or you can make a chain with a crochet hook. In my case, I will show you how to make a night cord. To make a night cord, you have to leave four stitches, knit the four last stitches of the bottom part of the bonnet. And now, you need uh, to make the eye cord, you need a double pointed needle or circular needle. And you have to pass the stitches to the other point of the needle. And then knit the first stitch with the yarn that is on the last stitch. Knit the first stitch. And knit the three following stitches. Now you have to pass the stitches again to the other point of the needle and repeat the same, you have to knit 4 Once you finish, repeat the same, pass the stitches to the other point of the needle and knit 4. This is what you have to repeat to make the eye cord. In my case I will make an eye cord like uh, 15 centimeters and you have to bind off all the stitches. and pick up four stitches on the other side of the bonnet to make the other eye cord, repeating the same. And once you finish the two eye cords, you finished your bonnet. Well, that's all. I hope you like it. 
Uh, you can now make a bonnet for a baby and would you like if I make more things for babies like a non sea or baby blankets? You can leave it on the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.